When a new animal is born here at the North Carolina Zoo, keepers give the natural parents every opportunity to raise the youngster on their own. Obviously, this is better for the infant and easier for the keepers. But sometimes, due to medical problems with the newborn or the inability of the parents to care for their offspring, the zoo staff has to step in and serve as surrogate parents. That was the case recently when a roadrunner chick was hatched at the zoo's Sonora Desert exhibit. Zoo curator of birds Ken Reininger tells us more about the effort to hand raise this young bird. Well, we had to hand raise this roadrunner chick because uh, unfortunately our pair of roadrunners were breaking all the eggs they were laying. We realized that the only way we were going to have any shot was to pull the eggs, artificially incubate them, and hand rear them. You have to mask the human form. If we were to go in there just uh, without any garb, the bird would learn that the human face, the human form, is its parent. So to avoid that, we have developed this little um, garb that goes over our head and our face. And then we've created a little hand puppet, and the food actually is handed to the chick using this little puppet. Hand raising is a pretty labor-intensive thing, especially early on when the chick is very small. We're feeding some mice and some mealworms and waxworms. We would think about establishing a second pair here. If that doesn't happen, we'll try to find a real good home in another accredited zoo, and hopefully this bird will go on to reproduce naturally. Thanks to the expertise and the hard work of the zoo staff, this young roadrunner chick stands an excellent chance for survival. If you'd like to learn more about roadrunners or any of the zoo's other animals, please visit our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.